Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you 10 secret Minecraft Bedrock Edition tricks, you know, just like the one that I'm doing right now, that are extremely useful. So let's get started. Okay, the one I just did I'll be showing in a little bit, but for right now we're going to be starting with the first one, and that is this one right there. We'll be getting to that one in a second. Now, shift space is our number one trick. This one is what I'm surprised more people don't know about, and uh, recently they updated it to make it a little bit better, but if we get a block, we can place something on top of a fence or a door. And normally when you go to do that, if I get like a trap door, for example, this is where I use it the most, if I get a trap door, and I go to place something on the trap door, it doesn't really work as you can see. I go to place stone block there and it just doesn't work. I have to do that instead. Obviously that's not necessarily the best way to do it. And when, when you're on the ground, you can just crouch and then you can place it and you're basically fine. But what if you're flying? What if you're doing something up in the air and you're like this and you don't really have the opportunity to just place it normally or something like that, right? You can just do shift and space at the same time or this work on controller for sure. You just have to press the crouch button as well as the flying button and now you can place stuff on top of your trap doors or really anything else that uh, uses the right click or the place block button. So that's like opening chests, right? You can also put something on the side of a chest or on top of a chest. It's very useful, uh, especially if you're trying to fly at the same time. Uh, so this is a very basic one, but still very useful. The next one is one that more people don't know about. One of the whole reasons I'm making this video is so that you guys can watch this video later because I'm going to be doing some more tutorials recently. I mean, as you can see, I have a uh, two videos right there that are coming up very soon, so don't forget to subscribe to check that out later. But for example, for this here, let's say we have a very long command, you know, like and subscribe, something like that, right? And we want to put this inside of a command block. But, you know, in a command block, it's not that nice of a of an interface to be able to type. You know, I prefer doing it inside the chat so I could try out the command, make sure it's correct before putting it in a command block. But now I have to retype out the entire command when I put it inside of a command block. So that's sort of annoying if I need to retype out this long command inside this command block. But instead, number one, if you press up on the arrow keys and on Xbox as well, you can, um, well, on a controller, you can also go up to see your previous commands. Uh, but I'm using a keyboard and mouse. Now if I press Control A, and which selects the entire thing. In fact, if I press backspace, it will delete it. Uh, if I press Control A and then S, it will replace it with that character. But if I do uh, Control A, here we go, Control A and Control C, it will copy the entire thing. So now when I go inside of a command block, I could press this here to paste it in, or I could press Control V to paste it in. Now this also works, I'm pretty sure, on a phone, and I believe it works on other uh, like controllers and stuff, but I don't know how to do it on a controller. I think there's something for it, but I, do, I don't remember. I use a keyboard, even when I was playing on Xbox, I still had a keyboard because this stuff is so useful for commands. If you do commands a lot, I would recommend getting just a cheap keyboard, literally just for these uh, little shortcuts like this, save so much time. So now we can just execute it by getting ourselves a little lever out and putting it down there we go like and subscribe just like that very very nice to say the least so that's control a control c and control v next is control middle mouse that is what we did over here with those chests and specifically we can also do it with command blocks this is where i use it a lot so as you can see here if i give this a name and then i if i just clear this out real quick Normally, if you do middle mouse, if you are using a mouse, or block select, and you place the block down, there's no command in it, and that's sort of unfortunate. Maybe we want to copy the command to put it somewhere else, maybe we're reusing it, maybe we just want to duplicate it, whatever it is. If I do control middle mouse click, now it has the exact same name and has the exact same command inside of it. Obviously, very, very useful if you have a lot of commands and they're very similar to each other. Next is the Control alt c and Control alt x This is actually a new one that I discovered while uh, doing stuff for this video. This was on Java as well, uh, these, these here, but they have a slightly different uh, shortcut. But on Xbox slash uh, Bedrock Edition, um, if you're using a keyboard, you can do Control alt c and that will save your position. So that, that is my position. 
So now the next time that you want to get your position, like you want to get the position of, let's say this is our spawn, we can just do Control, Alt, and C, and now we have our current position. So now we can do spawn point um, at S and paste it in using Control V like I showed you, and now we've set our spawn point. Of course, we could just use tilde uh, for that situation. If you don't know what those are, I'll show those real quick. It's just these here. That will do the same thing, but the nice thing about this is that now you can use it to save a coordinate much faster. It's just way faster now to save coordinates just using Control Alt C. Now you have your coordinate nice and easy. The next thing you can do is basically the exact same thing, but this time it's Control Alt X. So Control Alt X. Now we have the block that I'm looking at. So now if I do set block, uh, paste in the coordinates and do stone, you'll see that it placed it right there where I was looking. That is a very nice, as you can imagine, be able to just select a block that you're looking at. If you want the location of that block, you want the location of this block. Or for example, with the uh, fill command over here that I'll be doing a tutorial for very soon, we could do that right here and just do, you know, control X and that would be our first position. And then we could paste that in. And you know, what I would do is, you know, do that. And then I would do control X again. And now we have, you know, both, both coordinates and we can do our fill command. So that's uh, one use case of Control Alt X. I quite like it a lot. It's a little bit easier in my opinion than you know Control Alt C, but they're both very useful. The next one is a bit more like not necessarily the most useful thing in the world, but I use a lot, and it still could confuse people. So if I have a bunch of words like this, if I press Control and then Backspace, it will delete the entire word, but it will stop at the space. So this is pretty nice if you're doing a bunch of coordinates, for example, if you have, you know, if we paste in a coordinate right here, we can just delete all the way back to, you know, one coordinate at a time. So we just, one, two, three, we deleted one coordinate or uh, something else you know, like that. Or maybe we want to do, we want to move back three words instead. We can do control, backspace, like that. Well, not backspace, sorry, back arrow. Uh, we can use the arrow keys to, to move by a word or move by spaces. So we can press that three times and then we can delete the uh, the first three. So that is pretty nice to be able to have that option. And for that right there, you, I did control A and then backspace. So you can see that a lot of these are actually useful together. The next one is tab completions. This one actually, um, I didn't think was gonna be as confusing for people. Um, I thought this was more common knowledge, but it's not as common as I thought. So hopefully this helps um, those of you who found this confusing. So if I do, for example, a set block and I do tab, it will give me the a, a tilde and then it will give me the that right there. Instead, let me actually show you it with execute. So if I do execute as, we have at A, at E, at P, at R, at S. When I press the tab, it will just go through all of these and it will loop back around to the beginning. So with that, if I do set block, we can tab complete specifically to a, you know, the location that it's giving us, which is the block we're looking at. So now if I do stone, it will do the block that we're looking at. So this is another thing that is pretty nice if you're doing a command because uh, same with the fill command, rather than having to do control um, alt x both times, what we can do is just do, you know, fill, uh, I could do uh, control alt x and I could do fill right there. I could control a control c and I can go over here and then control a control v and then I could just do my tab completion for the, the rest of the fill. So that's an, another example where you could um, mix these up a little bit. So let's get back over to our list here. Uh, but that's not the only thing that tabs are useful for. Like you can also do this with names. There's not, there's no one else in the world, of course. So that's not really going to work at the moment. But if we do uh, another execute, execute as at E, what we can do is tab through these. So now we can just tab through all of these, uh, which is obviously quite nice. If you don't remember the names of it, um, or we could do type equals, and there we go. We have, for example, armor stand. I don't need to type out the entire thing of armor stand. In fact, all I need to do is ARM and then tab complete. And now it's tab completed all of armor stand for us, which this just saves a lot of time. Same way with the set block command. If I do the set block command again, and then I tab complete, you know, twice here. And now if I do STO right now, I can tab complete to stone, or maybe I want stone of bricks. Now I can just uh, tab complete stone bricks instead. Or if I want to do grass, I can tab complete to grass or grass path or sea grass or tall grass very, very easily. Or I could just go through all the different blocks that I really want to. If I don't remember the name of something, I can just go through all of them and see which one I want to use, like a barrier block. So hopefully this makes um, plenty of sense for you all. This is a bunch of different uh, little tricks, little shortcuts that I use a lot 
technically this is available on every version. I know some people get confused with the versioning of Bedrock. I do too sometimes. There's some things that don't work on every version, but this will work on Bedrock as long as you have a keyboard. And in fact, some of these work if you don't have a keyboard, but I just don't know which ones those are because I don't play on Xbox anymore uh, with a controller specifically. If you guys want me to see if I can find any shortcuts for a controller specifically, I could try. I don't know if I'll find any, but comment down below if you would like to see a video like that. Anyway, hope you guys have a great, wonderful, sublime day, and God bless.